So welcome, my name is Farid. So I just want to give an overview of the file. Somebody asked for it just to, to see the, the setup of the uh, file mainly that I posted earlier. And I'm talking about this one. Just using the flip server as a source for uh, action. Uh, there is a different uh, example put together. So, but the idea, the same idea behind the, all these, uh, uh, all these tests I did. So let us take a uh, look. See, this one is very cool because, uh, as you can see, it's separated from the, the the main body and give the illusion of uh, gasoline or something like this. Um, anyway, the setup is very easy. So I just started an action source shape, so using the action source shape with some forces, directional forces in the x x, just to give the, you know, just let me let me uh, let me simulate the, some frame. As you can see just simple, uh, nothing special, uh, with some directional uh, forces uh, in the x uh, axis with the magnitude of twenty. Then um, because I output the density, the temperature and velocity, so I separate them in tank. So first the temperature and then the velocity. And uh, uh, and I feed it inside a dot network where I use the flip feed. So if uh, feed the first uh, the temperature in the third uh, input and the, the, the velocity in the second one, I will use uh, in a moment. So inside the top network, um, I use the flip solver with um, a pop uh, source. Now I emit the particle, not the volume source, but the pop source. The pop source using the first context. It means the the, the first uh, you know the emit the first one with uh, it's coming from the temperature. As you can see, it's coming from directly from the temperature. So I source from the, the, the temperature. Sorry, <laughs> um, what I am now. I source from the temperature, um, and uh, I didn't change anything really, uh, almost nothing here. Uh, just uh, you can up the particle. You, you can do you know fancy things with the pop sources without using the and uh, uh, a flip solver and gravity. That's all. The idea is all in the geometry of. <coughs> so in the geometry of there is a, um, I. In the input, I set the input one for the second and the second for the third. Means uh, now, because I want to use the, the velocity here for the second and the temperature in the third one, um, and I don't know why I use the temperature in the third one because I don't think I use it. <laughs> I didn't use it anyway. I, ju I just need the um, I just need the um, the velocity. In. Uh, really so in, in inside you can I feed the, just to gather the information of the surface I use the volume sample to sample the fluid surface so that I know if the particle are outside or inside or on the surface so and volume sample v5 which is uh, gather the the velocity from the from the um, um, uh, yeah, I use the the third uh, the second yeah, it's same, it's same, it's same deal, you know. I just put the third context, which is the the temperature. It's same thing because he's uh, he's uh, uh, the particular emitting from the. I think. Anyway, the temperature will the temperature is uh, in the third third context. So the I wanted to know with this uh, volume sample or with again with the volume sample file, what is the velocity gathered from the. The, the 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 first input the velocity from the fluid itself uh and not the fluid uh, from the action solver uh and the the second input is the uh, volume sample file from the um from the uh the temperature where the temperature reside in in uh, in uh, inside uh, um, uh, coming from the action solver so i put them together multiply them but i set a, a, com a, a condition so that I can decide whenever, when, whenever I use the the velocity from the uh, from the uh, from the action or the velocity from the uh, uh, from the flip. All right, there is two velocity. One is coming from the action, and one is coming from the flip itself. So the 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 the, the, the velocity the coming from action. This is one I want to use if the particle are a little bit above from um, from the the value I set here for zero point six. So. If the velocity, uh, the particle are a little bit 
on the surface a little bit it's not really on the surface but if they are a little bit on the surface then they will take into account the velocity from action solver which i did here and uh, this one is just a parameter to um uh, why, why i did this why i did this yeah this is just a multiplier for the velocity so that uh, i don't uh, i put a little bit multiplier so that i can control the, uh, the amount of velocity i want and uh, they are multiplied together and uh, in this case if the particle are a little bit uh, outside they use the, the the action velocity if not then the they still uh, uh, inherit inherit the, the velocity from the flip itself so okay if this condition is uh, is uh, then uh, false for the second input right that's all so let us take a um, just rewind and just put uh, play uh, make a little uh, uh, simulation just for without the geometry of so that you can see the difference um, in this uh, in this one you can see all the the, the, the all the body is falling uh, as a part and there is nothing uh, interesting there is no no organic uh, uh, detachment or something like you know just like uh, as I said like so interesting shapes falling and the uh, clumping uh, some are falling some I'm um, are moving with the velocity and that's why I I put this uh, geometry pop now we can can see the difference the at the first glance the the in here is the the, um, the action velocity you can see but if they are a little bit outside they take an account they inherited the uh, incoming velocity from the flip mm. and that's why um, they separate from the main body and giving the illusion of uh, you know some kind of uh, as I said some gasoline or something like uh, interesting shape using the flip as a source and then I uh, as you can see I imported again the flip object means the uh, the the flip fluid and i i uh create a attribute density of course i need the density from a simple value you know, from um, a value of one and then i rasterize the v and the density then uh, because i don't have temperature i put some uh, use the density as a base and uh, match them together and fit it a bit to an action solver and uh, did some tests and this is what you can see here you can see that um then it's looking really interesting better than the using just uh, the action the action um, uh, uh, source on the first glance and just looking uh, really separate from the body they fall down with the gravity and looking interesting and if you put the pyro back and uh, then you can enjoy the <laughs> enjoy the thing so that's all what i want to say i uh, hope you yeah, I hope you find it interesting. Thank you uh, and see you again. Ciao.